Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more chromatography training content. You might also want to follow Chrome Perfect on Facebook and Twitter. There will be links in the description below. This video was created with Chrome Perfect version 8.0.4. Please note that the features and processes shown may be different in other versions. Let us look at how peak detection settings are applied within Chrome Perfect. Whenever a data file is opened, the analysis program integrates the chromatogram according to the threshold and peak width settings and the timed events in the method file. If the integration is not satisfactory, these settings may be changed and the plot will change to reflect the new settings. Most chromatograms will give a satisfactory integration when the threshold and peak width settings are correctly set. To adjust the threshold and peak width settings, choose Integration and Auto. The following form will appear. The peak detection threshold tells the algorithm how much noise may be expected in the chromatogram. This number is dimensionless. Appropriate values range from negative 6 to positive 28. If the value is too large, then peaks will be treated as noise and missed. If the value is too small, then noise will be treated as peaks and the chromatogram will be littered with false peaks. The peak width setting tells the peak detection algorithm what peak width is expected. Enter the expected full width at half height for an early peak in minutes. Appropriate values are 0.01 .01 through 0.10 for GC and 0.10 through 2.00 for LC. If the value is too large, then peaks may be missed. You can experiment with the peak width and threshold settings to find what values are most reliable. The Measure Noise tool within the plot menu can be useful for getting a rough idea of the threshold settings. Measure the noise in a flat area of the plot and a threshold value will be suggested. If you wish to use the suggested threshold value, you will need to enter this number manually. Pressing the Restore Original Values button causes the original settings to appear in the form. Also displayed are several items that are not integration settings in the strict sense, but which affect reports. The Area Reject Threshold, Injection Volume, Sample Weight, Dilution Factor, and Internal Standard Amount are covered in more depth within the Chrome Perfect Manual. Leaving these set to a value of 1 will mean that they have no effect on your results. When the new values have been entered, press OK to apply them and close the box, or press Apply without closing the dialog box. If you are happy with these settings, you should save your method and bind your data file. This will save your changes to the current file and apply the same settings to all future analysis that use this method. If the peak detection or baseline integration requires more attention, there are two options available. Automatic integration uses timed events at certain points in the chromatogram. These events can be stored in the method file so no user interaction is required for future analysis. Manual integration allows the user to adjust baselines and peaks for each analysis. This can be time-consuming, therefore manual integration should be used as a last resort when automatic settings cannot produce reliable, reproducible results. Let us look at automatic integration and how we add timed events to a chromatogram. To add a timed event, choose Integration, Insert Event. The Operation Assistant and the following form will appear. This form lists the event types. The five most recently used types will appear at the top of the list. As you select from the list, the area below changes to indicate the effect of the event on the chromatogram. To select an event, press OK or double-click on the desired event in the list. The Operation Assistant may be useful for beginners, however the left-click or right-click combination is faster and more intuitive for most users. This is the method we will be using in this demonstration. All integration changes can be applied quickly, with a simple left mouse click to place the event, 
and right-click to confirm. To add another event of the same type, simply left-click again. The process will repeat. You must confirm each event before setting the next one. To add an event of a different type, select a new event type and continue as before. To delete timed events, choose Integration, Delete Event. Simply select a region of the chromatogram with the mouse. Click, drag, and release to define the region, which will be indicated by a pair of vertical lines. To delete all events within the region, right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated and the deleted event labels will disappear. To move a timed event, choose Integration and Move Event. Click on the chromatogram plot and the nearest event will be selected. Drag the cursor to where the event should be located. To confirm the action, right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated and the event labels will move to the new location. Note: Adding, deleting, or moving timed events will destroy any manual integration actions that have been made. Therefore, you should set all timed events before performing manual integration. If you are happy with the resulting integration, you can bind your data file to save the changes. Saving the method will apply the timed events you have added to future analysis that use this method. To manually integrate a chromatogram, choose Integration, Manual. The following form will appear. Click on any button to see the typical effect of the action. If the Move Peak Start or End, Add Peak, or merge or break baseline actions are selected, then the autocorrection checkbox will be active. If this box is checked, then the new baseline will be snapped to the chromatogram. If this box is unchecked, the new baseline will be located exactly where the user put it. To move the peak start or end point, press the Move Peak Start or End button. The operation assistant will appear, directing you to drag the baseline, actually the tick mark, with the mouse. Click on the chromatogram plot near the baseline of interest. The nearest tick mark will be selected. This tick mark may be external, the start or end of a baseline, or internal, at a drop line. If the tick mark is external, then clicking will grab the baseline. A red rubber baseline will appear. If the tick mark is internal, then clicking will grab the drop line. A red vertical line will appear. You can drag these lines to the desired position and right-click on the chromatogram plot to confirm. The chromatogram will be reintegrated with your new baseline. To add a new peak, press the Add Peak button. The operation assistant will appear, directing you to draw the baseline with the mouse. Left-click on the chromatogram plot where the baseline should start. Drag in either direction and a red rubber baseline will appear and will pivot around the initial point. When this baseline is in the desired position, release the mouse and right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated and the new peak will appear with its baseline. This process of left-clicks to select and right-click to confirm is used to delete a peak, to split a peak, To fuse adjacent peaks, to merge or break the baseline. When you master the left click and right click combination, you will be able to quickly make changes to your chromatograms. Remember, only automatic timed events can be saved to the method, which is why this approach is preferable to manual integration. When you have completed the operation, remember to bind your file to save the changes. More information about integration is included in the Chrome Perfect Manual in the chapter titled Analysis. You can find your Chrome Perfect Manual in the Manuals directory within the CP Data folder.
Thank you for watching. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more chromatography and chrome perfect training videos.